Hey guys, welcome back. Sailing, learning by doing. Or is it learning by doing sailing? I can't remember. But anyway, we're sailing downwind with Sundays, doing about six knots with just the mainsail. And yeah, having a good time. We've got a newcomer on the boat. Well, not exactly a newcomer. She's returned. Welcome back to tropical Queensland. Oh yeah, so warm here. Why are you wearing so much clothes? Because I'm freezing. I think people lied to me. Everyone was like, Queensland, bro, you're gonna be in bikini all the time. No way. Just forget all my bikinis. I pack them out and I have just perfect jackets and fleece. Are you disappointed? A little bit. But life on Shishi is really different when you have fleece all the time. How's the steering going? Yeah, so we're going dead downwind here. Well, we were. We've got a little bit of an angle now. For the last 10 miles, we're going dead downwind. And Chihalian goes pretty well just with the mainsail. Um, and it's sort of easier than poling out the jib. And we're still doing six or seven knots just with the one reef in the main. It does make it slightly more heavier to steer, that's all, because it's not quite balanced. But all in all, it's a good compromise. And uh, it's good for Marie to learn how to steer, get those little spaghetti arms working. Super yeah, does not be on the boat long now. Yeah, we'll be going good. We're getting behind the islands now. We're going to go between Whitsunday and Hook Islands, a little passage, and then it's about 15 miles over to Early Beach. I am in Australia and in Queensland it's particularly cold this year so as you can see I have little knits that the first thing I bought in Australia in my unicorn knitting Vernon is calling me little pony now and um, I'm super happy because even with this bad weather I had a surprise on the boat we have a way to have hot shower now inside and it's so cool so we don't have a traditional hot water system, so I use the kettle and with this kettle, I would say three quarts full, I can have a pretty good hot shower on board. So it's so cold here that I don't have any bikinis on board, but I bought that. It's my special eating system. Myself. Pretty good at that. So here is the tank of our water for the shower. It's a bit tricky to keep. It's okay. So with the system of valves here, I can use the foot pump and having the water from the tank. Normally it's coming in the tap here, but I can choose to have it. Here, and I know roughly how much I need to have perfect temperature for my shower. And here, then I install a little pump, and I have a little button here, and I can use this to have my shower. And you can use the mist if you want to save water, you got the shower, it's perfect. And to be honest, I was not really remembering then 
Our bathroom is quite big, in fact. To have a shower, you really have space. You can even stand up and clean yourself really correctly. And yeah, just have to pack a little bit the things to not making everything wet. But it's drying super fast when you open the window. And one of the good upgrades is the floor mattress. It's like little rubber things. So it's really like letting you feet dry after the shower. But now I'm gonna enjoy this time and it's private time. Bye-bye! Was good? Yeah, that was super good, especially with the cold outside. I'm super happy to have this little time with warm water on me. Good morning! I'm back on Chiellian. I am in Australia now with Vernon. And I'm super happy because today it's beautiful weather. And where are we? We are in Early Beach. Uh, it's the, the beginning of a new season, I would say, for us. New start, new country, new experience for me. Everything is new here for me. But Vernon gonna be a good guide as usual. As you can see, it's washing day because we had quite a crappy weather, I would say, for three weeks with a lot of rain, super cold. So I'm super happy it was the occasion to clean everything and dry everything on the boat. It's gonna be really better now we have the sun and the good temperature because I was not really expecting that. I came with my bikini imagining Australia as a beach place and that was not exactly that. So as some of you are probably knowing, I left Vernon in Sorong, Indonesia. I flew back in France uh, in mid-March and I had a really good time over there. I was super happy to be with my family again and to catch up with them. Uh, I had uh, also the chance to experiment winter and summer because in March I had the last of the snow at my mother's place. Uh, we had really good time in the snow and having the feeling of the cold again after two years in tropical weather. I am actually visiting my mother. Uh, she built a new house in a region that I don't really know in fact, called uh, Haute-Loire in a little village called Maze saint voix so that's good to have family time and yeah enjoying the winter um, and yeah I stayed to my father's place who has a lovely house uh, in Savoie here is my fat cat hello hello he's lovely yes you are Vernon doesn't like him, doesn't like cats in general, but that's really my super friend of friends. So we are super close to a lake. I enjoyed uh, also to be in a tiny dinghy boat with an electric engine on the boat with my father. And I had also a lot of good time with my friends that I didn't see for a long time. So yeah, that was really a, a nice moment. Hi everyone, we are the 20th of May and I just have the amazing news, I got my visa. I'm gonna be able to join Vernon in Australia. I am so happy of that, especially because today I was visiting one of my favorite places. I was in Chamonix, I had a lot of good time with friends and on top of that I just get this amazing news. I did the application for my visa in Australia when I was in Indonesia, but because of the COVID, there were really like a lot of time for processing the things and I was expecting that it would be quite long. So during all this time in France, I was a bit stressed because maybe it would be nine months before being able to come in here. And at the end it was three months. So I spent three months in France. That was the perfect time. Because I painted the hull right up to there, I had to take all the decals and the boat name and everything off. And I hadn't thought about that, I just mentioned in the video, and then this guy commented on the video, Oh, I've got a company that uh, does decals, I can do them for you. And I was like, so stoked. So anyway, he sent, sent me a ma mail, Paul from Brandy Projects, here you go. Yeah, he made them up for me, where are they from? From Gebung, Jibung, Jibung. Jibung, Queensland. Paul Rao, Brandy Projects. There you go. So anyway, yeah, he did these up. I sent him, um, I sent him the, the files, and he 
busted these out in about two days and we went and picked them up today and we're gonna um we're here in early beach on the courtesy mooring we're gonna stay the night and um, put these on so we'll do one side of the boat and then turn the boat around and do the other side probably tomorrow no today you think we're gonna have enough light yeah we can do them at night there's lights here okay all right let's see what we got Ooh. one ha huh, he sent he didn't really uh, trust that we were going to do them right the first time. He sent three. And then we got this one. Three of those too, so we can mess one up. Amazing. Really Super nice. cool. Yeah, really good die cut. So we're going to try the acetone on the brand new shell coat that Werner did because for the decalc we have to have a super clean surface and we want to be sure that we're going to not damage the paint. So I'm going to put a little bit on this rag and try no paint seems to not dissolve in anything good all right what do you reckon well we have a little bit of a of doubt about the place to put the name because Shelian was here before but the size and the font are a bit different so we tried and I don't really think it's the best place, so we tried also one Let's go have a look in the front. There. And I would say it's more beautiful. I think you like this one much more? Yeah, it's really more aesthetic. Alright, we'll go for that. No, so we're going to go for the name at the front and the little man logo down here. And we'll take this one away. Rip it off. Then I put it to the other side. Yep. Okay. Right. You need a hand. Yeah, might be alright. Oh, that's pretty, the pretty, pretty fast and rough. Hopefully, it's not too bubbly. Yeah, I'll give it a good rub and. Right now, next tricky part. Woohoo! Looking good. Wow, this is easy. These stickers are really good quality. Sometimes they just don't stick properly and you, you like half tear them. This is so easy. This is thanks Paul, these stickers are perfect. What? Oh there's a couple Brilliant. little bubbles. A couple little bubbles here and there. That's the place of the focus burner. The, the tongue. Of the tongue out. Yeah, concentrating hard. It's looking good though. And it. If there's big bubbles, you can actually get a pin and like just pop it a tiny bit. Yeah. Let some air out. Oh, look at the colours. Beautiful. Splendid. <laughs> that looks good.
Yeah. And what's with those binoculars you're using? Um, they are from Apexel. And the guy on Instagram contacted us and proposed to send one of them to try them. And to be honest, they are quite good. Like, I really like the color, the zoom, and I can watch a lot of birds with. They're super nice. Nah, as Marie just said, a pixel. The guy just asked if we wanted to try them out and said if you like them, you can maybe put them in a video. So there was no, you know, no deal or anything. I was like, yeah, I've got these Bushnell uh, hunting glasses that my brother Fraser and his wife Monique bought me for my 40th birthday. And these are expensive, about oh, six or seven hundred Australian. And these are really good and obviously I'm not 40 anymore, so they've lasted a lot of years and they're still great. So I wasn't expecting much from these, and I think these retail at about a hundred bucks, so cheap as, but... So I, I said to the guy, well, I, I don't promote rubbish on the channel, so if we get them and that is not good, I'm not going to talk about them. And he was like, yeah, try them out. So we've tried them out, we've had them for about two, three weeks now, and they're sort of nearly my go-to binoculars. They're a little bit stronger, they're at uh, 1042, and these are... Uh, a 750 so these get a little bit more light in but these have magnify a little bit more but to go hiking up the trail or to look a bit further these are great and the contrast and the colors they are really good so I can say and we're not getting paid anything for this we just get to keep the binoculars they are really really good I'm surprised how good they are for the price now who knows if they're gonna last 10 years like these ones have but for right now this is a good pair of binoculars for a real cheap price and yeah I love them they're really good they fold up small, they're a lot lighter than these. Fit in the backpack and we were up the peak on that island back there yesterday looking for whales with them and we didn't see any but it wasn't the fault of the binoculars. Alright guys, that's the end of another video. We're sailing gently back to Early Beach right now. Had a couple of days out in the islands and a gentle tailwind. We're just cruising along sunset time. Hope you enjoyed that one. It was a bit of a, a mishmash caused by the weather we've had and also we haven't filmed together for four months and we need to get back in the swing of it so I hope you'll sort of allow us a couple of episodes time to make slick videos again but yeah basically we're just trying to show you what we're doing and uh, you know bring you along on our general lives what we're doing so I think that video was quite a bit like that although it wasn't as slick as some of the channels are putting out these days what do you reckon you having fun here for the moment I have quite a lot of fun and the weather is with us so we're gonna have even more adventures now. Yeah, you can maybe try out some of the new bikinis. Maybe, yeah. maybe. It's getting warm enough. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna swim really soon. <laughs> Hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll bring you a couple of videos with um, my youngest brother Toby and his wife Tara and their dog Sally. You'll remember Toby, he's been in quite a few videos. He came to Indonesia and we climbed up that gnarly um, Volcano for a big adventure that was really cool and they're on their own boat now they bought a, a small Jarkin 10 I shouldn't say small it's only a meter that's smaller than our boat but and they're cruising around here with us as well so we'll show them in the coming videos and yeah we're excited we're going to be here in the Whit Sundays for another month I got invited to crew on a race boat for early race week which is coming up in the second week of August so after that we'll head north but we'll take you along we're nearly live this video will come out it's Monday today and it'll come out on Saturday, so we're nearly live. Been meeting a lot of you too, eh? That's been cool. Every day someone comes and bangs on the hull or walks up to us and yeah, it's really, really cool to meet all you guys finally. A lot of you that are commenting or, um, you know, patrons or whatever, just coming along and saying hi and we can finally have a chat and, and, uh, and get to know you as well because it's very one-sided just on YouTube. You guys know us, but we don't know you who are, so it's really nice to actually even that up a little bit. Alright, see you next week. Bye bye.